Hi student, welcome to all in English tutorial with Rachna. Let's start our today's video. Dear student, many of you must be fond of pet animals, right? And you like keeping pets at your homes. But any of you have ever kept a monkey at your home as a pet? Really, it will be an adventurous work to keep a monkey as a pet as it will create many problems if you will keep it. So the story today you are going to read is about a person who has kept a monkey at his home as a pet and then how many problems did he face. Let's read the story and comes to know. So before I explain the text I would like to to tell something about the chapter. Dear student, this is a humorous and adventurous story of a naughty monkey named Toto. So what is the name of the monkey? Toto. The writer's grandfathers bought the monkey from a Tonga driver. The pranks means uh, many mischievous activities played by Toto have been narrated in an interesting way and make the story must read for all of us. Now let's start the explanation. So narrator's grandfather bought Toto from a Tonga driver for the sum of 5 rupees. For how many in how many rupees Toto was bought? So Toto was bought in 5 rupees from a Tonga driver by the narrator grandfather and what happened that Tonga driver used to keep the little red monkey tied to a feeding trough and the monkey looked so out of place there that grandfather decided he would add the little fellow to his private zoo. Now the narrator is saying that that Tonga driver who was earlier the owner of that monkey whose name was Toto. So, that Tonga driver has tied that monkey, that little red monkey, to a feeding trough. So, he has, uh, uh, he has kept at his home and he has placed in front of him a feeding trough. Now, what is the meaning of the word trough? A narrow, a narrow container. So in front of a narrow container uh, for feeding, uh, that Tonga driver has kept that monkey. And uh, when the narrator's grandfather saw that monkey uh, there, he felt that it was not a right place for this little red uh, monkey to be there. And he felt that it was looking very out of place. And that is why grandfather decided to buy that monkey and to add it with his little private zoo. Now, with the help of this world, you can know that narrator's grandfather had already kept many pets animal at his home. That is why the narrator is uh, narrator has used the word the private uh, to his private zoo. It means um, the uh, there were many animals as a pet at his um, home, and that is why it was like a zoo. So he decided to add this animals also in his private zoo. So uh, with the help of this paragraph, you have come to know that how Toto, you have come to know the introduction of Toto, that how, where it was earlier and how it was bought by narrator's grandfather. Now let's have a physical description of Toto, that how did it look. Let's have. So Toto was a pretty monkey. His bright eyes sparkled with mischief beneath deep set eyebrows and his teeth which were a pearly white were very often displayed in a smile that frightened the life out of elderly anglo indian ladies now here you can come to know that how did toto look so as i told you that toto was very beautiful it had bright shiny eyes which were full of mischief the eyebrows were deeply set on his face. So, 
he had deep eyes okay and his eyebrows were very dense and it were deeply dense uh, de deeply set on his face his teeth were like pearls you know it 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 used to sign so much that it looked like pearls many led ladies belonging to the anglo indian community got scared when they saw his teeth which were displayed when he smiled so when toto would smile and when his teeth would um, displayed then it could frighten many anglo indian community women toto's hand were dry and it wrinkled as if they had been dried in the sun like pickled vegetables so as i told you that but his hands dried up as though as he had been pickled in the sun for many years yet his fingers were quick and wicked and his tell while adding to his good looks grandfathers believed a tell would add to anyone's good look also served as a third hand he would used it to hang from a branch and it was capable of scooping up any delicacy that might be out of reach of his hand now uh, you can come to know that toto had a long tail the writer's grandfather thought that the ta that the tail of any animal could add to the good looks of it the toto tail was like a third hand for him it used to help him for many task for many work now let's uh, let me tell you how did it help him so it help him hanging from the branch of a tree it would also help him in lifting object which were beyond his reach uh, beyond his hands reach so uh, in this way his uh, tail would act as a third hand and it would help him in many work now grandfather always first with grand uh, sorry grandmother always first with grandfather brought ho home some new words or animals so it was decided that toto's presence would be kept a secret from her until she was in particularly good mood grandfather and i put him away in a little closet opening into my bedroom wall where he was tied securely or so we thought to a peg for strain into the wall now the writer's grandmother was against the grandfather's attitude of bringing new pets birds or animals and adding them to his private zoo she was against to uh, his grandfather father for the, uh, for this activity she did not like all that so uh, what was decided between grandfathers and the narrator that um, they thought that they would conceal this fact from what fact that they had uh, brought a new pet uh, like monkey in his private zoo so they thought to keep this fact uh, secret from her and they decided that they would keep this fact a secret from her um, until she was in a good mood so whenever she would be in a good mood they decided that they would tell her uh, tell it about her but until she is not in a good mood they are not going to tell her about this so at that time they would disclose this to her and the writer and his grandfather secured toto in a little cupboard in the writer's room so where was uh, toto kept toto was kept in a little cupboard in narrator's room okay in order to be sure that toto did not escape that toto would not to leave the place and run away from there to ensure this what the narrator and his grandfather did that they tied him to a hook in the wall they tied toto with a hook in the wall so this is how they ensured the security of toto and they also kept this uh, thing a secret a few hours later when grandfather and i came back to reach toto we found that the walls which had been covered with some ornamental papers chosen by grandfather now stood out as naked brick and plaster the peg in the wall had been rained from 
its socket and my school blazer which had been hanging there was in shreds i wonder what what grandmother would say now let me explain the meaning of some difficult word so here you can see the word pig so pig means a hook and uh, the word ornamental you know decorative ornamental means decorative naked means naked naked means uncovered and socket means socket means attachment attachment and shreds shreds means cut into pieces and ranged here the word ranged is here ranged ranged means broke now let me explain this paragraph so the writer and his grandfather went to to after few hours to check whether it was uh, okay or not so when they went in the narrator's room to check him what has happened there the sight was shocking toto had torn the decorative wallpaper he had broken the hook and had a scab from his binding also he tore the writer's blazer into thin pieces so all this chaos he had created you can see that what uh, this was the first mischievous activity done um, done by toto at the narrator's home but grandfather didn't worry he seemed pleased with toto's performance he is clever sad grandfather given time i'm sure he would have tied the torn pieces of your blazer into a rope and made his scarf from the window now what was the reaction of narrator's grandfather that in place of be, uh, being angry or uh, sad grandfather became very delighted to see toto's adventure and his activity he felt that toto was very clever he said that if they would have given him more time if they would uh, they means grandfather and uh, the narrator would have gone in that room a little bit later then he was sure that toto would have tied the thin pieces of the writer's means narrator's torn blazer into a rope and would have escaped out of the window so uh, to see all the activity of toto he became very happy his presence in the house is still a secret toto was now transferred transferred to a big cage in the servants quarter where a number of grandfathers pet lived very socially together a tortoise a pet of rabbit a pair of rabbits a tame squirrel and for a while my pet goat so all these animals were living there in the servants quarter in narrator's house now socially means sociably means in a friendly in a friendly manner friendly way toto was shifted to the servants quarter in his house and he was put in a cage he would live with the other pets in the grandfather's too zoo that was you can say grandfather's private zoo where a number of other pets animals were living already like who with, who were the animals who were living there a tortoise a pair of rabbits a squirrel and the writers it means narrator's pet goat was also so among all those animals there was one pet of narrator and that was his pet goat and other animals were the pet of the grandfather toto was very mischievous 
now but the monkey would allow wouldn't allow any of his companions to sleep at night so grandfather who had to leave dehradun next day to collect the his pension in saharanpur decided to take him along so unfortunately you know that grandfather had to go for a trip the next day so what he did as toto was very mischievous and he did not let any other animals of that zoo to sleep at night so what uh, the narrator's grandfather did he uh, who had to leave to collect his pension in saharanpur the next day so his grandfather decided to take toto along with him so that he could manage the things otherwise if he would, if he would leave toto along with all the animals for a day then surely he would create some um, chaos and some disturbance then the things would not be manageable so he decided to take him along with him unfortunately i could not accompany grandfather on that trip but he told me about it afterwards a big black canvas kit bag was provided for toto this with some straw at the bottom became his new abode when the bag was closed there was no escape toto could not get his hands through the openings and the canvas was too strong for him to bite his way through his efforts to get out only had the effect of making the bag roll about on the floor or occasionally jump into the air an exhilaration that attracted a curious crowd of onlookers on the dehradun railway platform now abort means the word abort means home the writer was very disappointed narrator was very disappointed as he could not accompany his grandfather and toto on dehradun trip his grandfather narrated the happenings of the trip to his to him later he got a special bag for toto it was made of of a strong material canvas he placed some dry grass at the bottom of the bag on the trip the bag would be toto's home as he would live in it the bag had a zipper on top of it writer's grandfather ensured that when the bag was closed toto would not be able to scap out of it neither he could uh, could come out of the opening as it was closed with a zipper nor it could bite the strong canvas material in order to run away so there was no chance of for toto to come out of that bag or to take any parts of his body um uh, from the bag still toto made unsuccessful attempts to come out from the bag and when he used to do such attempts due to his attempts many times the bag would roll on the floor and it would certainly jump in the air and these movements were noticed on the railway platform and made the curious made uh, the people uh, in in the surrounding curious to know what was inside the bag as toto was inside and he was making all that attempts but the people were not aware people at the dehradun platform they were not aware of it and that is why they became very curious they wanted to know that what was inside that bag that was making it to roll now toto Toto remained in the bag as far as Saharanpur but while grandfather was producing his ticket at the railway turn still Toto suddenly poked his head out of the bag and gave the ticket collector a wide grin So Toto remained secured in grandfather's bags till Saharanpur At the Saharanpur railway station the writer's grandfather was taking out his ticket to cross the turnstile and when he was doing so at the same time toto peeked out he looked out of the bag and he smiled at the ticket collector 
Now that poor man was taken aback, but with great presence of mind and much to grandfather's annoyance, he said, "Sir, you have a dog with you. You will, you shall have to pay for it accordingly." So. to see all that the ticket collector was astonished he was surprised to see a monkey in grandfather bag but sadly he could not recognize that monkey so he recovered his uh, state his condition quickly and he asked his grandfather narrator's grandfather to pay the ticket money for traveling with a dog he asked um, double money for it in vain did grandfather take toto out of the bag in vain did he try to prove that a monkey did not quali- qualify as a dog or even as a quadruped toto was classified a dog by ticket collector and 3 rupees was the sum handed over as his fare there then grandfather just to get his own bag took out his pocket our pet tortoise and said what must i pay for this since you charge for all animals the grandfather was unsuccessful in explaining to the ticket collector that toto was a monkey not a dog he insisted that toto was not even an animal with four feet but the ticket collector was firm the toto fell in the category of dogs grandfather had to pay 3 rupees for toto's ticket grandfather was disappointed and in order to take revenge from the ticket collector he took out his pet tortoise from his pocket he asked if he would supposed to buy a ticket for it too so he asked the ticket collector whether he had to buy a ticket for the tortoise also then what was the reply of that ticket collector the ticket collector looked closely at tortoise prodded it with his four fingers gave grandfather a pleased and triumphant look and said no chaws it's not a dog so the ticket collector took a close look at the tortoise pushed it slightly and announced that grandfather was not required to buy a ticket for that trot rise as it did not fall in the category of a dog when toto was finally accepted by grandmother he was given a comfortable home in the stable where he had for a companion the family donkey nana on toto's first night in the stable grandfather's paid him a visit to see if he was comfortable to his surprise he found nona without a apparent cause pulling at her halter and trying to keep her head as far as possible from a bundle of hay now when narrator's grandmother finally she came to know about toto's presence that there was some monkey who has been brought in the house when she came to know about that she allowed um, them to keep that monkey and then she allotted him a space in the stable along with the family donkey nana and on the first night in the stable grandfather's visited toto and what did grandfather find he found nana's restless pulling its rope in order to stay away from the heap of hay hay means uh, the feeding material that the donkey would eat grandfather gave nana a slap across his haunches and she jerked back dragging toto with her he had fastened on to her long ears with his soft little teeth toto and nana never became friends when grandfather hit nana on his back in order to stop uh, him from doing that nana jumped back with a jerk 
with a stake jerk means stake and toto was also dragged along with nana it means along with that donkey and this is how the grandfather came to know that uh, the uh, that the monkey it means toto has hold uh, it has held the long necks of uh, uh, long ears of nana with his soft ears and this is how it was creating disturbance for him and that's why it was trying to run away from him and uh, narrator has told that uh, though nana and monkey they both live together for uh, many time for a long time but they did not become friends so in this video uh, i will upload the explanation still here student and in next video i will upload the explanation of the next part of this chapter if you have liked this explanations uh, kindly sub subscribe the channel so that you can get the next videos by their own